Nin explains, the rules are flickable. The object of the game is to score more points than the opposing team. The game is played on a field that's... Um, it could be any size field. That can be of any size, and is played between two teams of... And there can be any number of players. A minimum of two players per team. The ball used in flickerball can be an American football, a soccer ball, a rugby ball, a dodgeball, basically any ball will do. The game starts with a jump ball. The team that receives the ball must only pass backwards or laterally initially. There are two ways to move the ball towards the goal. You may move only three steps forward with the ball, or be in possession of the ball whilst moving backwards or sideways for a maximum of five seconds. After 5 seconds, you must either pass to a teammate or shoot the ball towards the goal. To score points, you must throw the ball into the goal. These goals are situated at opposite ends of the field and are 6 feet above the ground. They're basically a piece of plywood with a hole cut out of the middle. I shit you not. If you cannot afford a piece of plywood, using a stolen tyre from your nearest ghetto is acceptable. If you successfully shoot the ball into the hole, this is a goal and is worth 2 points. And if you miss the hole but hit the plywood surround, this is worth 1 point. The game is played in either one 40 minute period or two 20 minute halves. High score at the end of time wins. That's not so bad. Well, sadly the rules get more complicated. Any attempt at shooting at the goal results in the ball being awarded to the other team. Whilst you are allowed to pass the ball to a teammate, if a pass is incomplete and not caught, the ball is awarded to the other team. If a pass is deflected by a member of the opposing team, it's a free ball and anyone can take possession of it. You cannot pass or shoot the ball in the free throw lane, which is apparently this area here. If the ball leaves the area of play, the ball is awarded to the team who did not touch it last. Flicker ball is designed to be complicated. Flickerball is designed so that the rules are more important than the actual game itself. Flickerball is designed to be no fun whatsoever. Flickerball is designed to suck. Designed to suck. So why on earth would you play this game? The US Air Force uses Flickerball as a military training exercise. They use it to evaluate cadets in stressful, confusing and high pressure situations all of which are present in this game due to its complicated rules, odd structure of play, and the lack of consistency in both the rules and the format. Every move you make on the field is being evaluated by your superiors, and should you suck at the sport that sucks, this will reflect badly in your evaluations. No pressure then. There's just a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching Flickerball. For example, fouls. Flickerball is a no contact sport, and these are considered as fouls. Should you break one of the rules, a free throw is awarded to the other team at the spot of the foul. Even swearing and protesting calls are considered as fouls. Heckling Members of the team who aren't on the field, and any spectators watching, are allowed to hurl abuse towards the players. This results in harsh American insults such as Use the magic socks! Use the magic socks! Magic socks! Magic socks! Magic socks! The players are not allowed to retaliate. Doing so will result in a foul and the ball is awarded to the other team. Variations Flicker ball is not consistently played by the same rules across America. Each region of the United States has its own variation of the rules. Some play with a three point line. Some play where they can only pass backwards or sideways, and... Okay, okay, this is crazy. I can't do anymore. Maybe I should have called this video, Nin can't explain. The rules of Flickable actually no, hang on a minute. I actually just did. Nin won't explain the rules of Flickable. Mainly because the sport is shit stupid. If you do like this kind of video where I'm ripping the crap out of stuff, let me know in the comment section below. Special shout out to my guy Spencer Casimir who introduced me to this rather hilariously awful sport. And if you have actually enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It really does take me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. 
Follow me on Twitter and share this video on Reddit. But in the meantime, enjoy Flickable.